Come on, guys. She's a babbling idiot. She doesn't even know we're here. <laughs> In fact, season one and two of Xena, I think, Liz, that we, um, uh, we gave most of the god stories to Hercules, Hercules. and tried to keep the personal right. warlord stories to Xena. And right. then as time went on, you get stories wherever you can take them. Yeah. And um, uh, started to do more mythological stories and anything dealing with Ares. So, um, right, because I think at the beginning we were really trying to mark the difference between the shows more. By season three, it was very apparent that they were different, different, right. you know, animals, as it were. Their own beast. Yes. This is Zena's mom. See, uh, Zena's mother is a, is a very important character in uh, in in the series. I I always felt in the backstory, Zena was a, a happy child, and then tragedy started to descend on her life. And the riff with her mother and her not living up to her mother's hopes for her is a great crisis in 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 Zena's identity. And so for her, and at this point where she's mad and trying, struggling, just hang on to her identity, for her to go back to see Cyrene, who is her mother, is, is, is essential because she's trying to re rebuild herself, rebuild who she is. And, and so she returned to an image of herself in her mother's eyes that she appreciated, not knowing, of course, some of the secrets that her mother is hiding from her. What is at stake here is not only her relationship with her mother, her relationship with herself, but how her mother sees her because that's one of the ways she has defined herself not only in the positive way at one point she liked being who her mother wanted her to be but also in the negative sense that that she uh, uh, she doesn't like the the, uh, the in the pilot of course her mother spits on her that's how extreme uh, her mother's uh, relationship with her had evolved he told me Zena had to die I took an axe and I stopped him. This is a you know reference to an actual Greek myth. I mean, as actual as Greek myths are. What was the story of Orestes? He was driven mad by the Furies for not. Well, the Orestes, his father killed his mother. And then what we did, he was driven mad for not avenging, I believe, the, the death of his mother. And then what we did with it, RJ's very clever twist, as you will discover, is that maybe he did avenge them. His obligation, according to the Code of the Furies, was to kill his mother. Did it work? So now Gabrielle's left Cyrene alone with Xena, thinking that she is comatose. So Mama killed Papa. Not so much. <laughs> That's a great delivery by Lucy, huh? You were trying to save my life, right? I should be grateful. I like this scene because the 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 tension. But you have to admit you did And Lucy so pulls it off. You, 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 she's 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 managed to grab enough of of a point of view and enough of herself oh, to be to start formulating a plan but she's she uh, you know her Did darker you know side is so so obscuring her her, her positive side that she's still very dangerous and in my mind she's already beginning in her confused madness to formulate the ultimate solution to the episode so she's beginning now to to uh, uh, figure it all out, what she needs to do, who needs, who she needs to no fool. No matter what we do, we still end up as food for the worms. Very dark uh, worldview in this episode. Oh no! A good dramatic moment. Yes. Zena, mother. I am a lunatic with lethal combat skills. <laughs> Good line. I mean, I actually, uh, that, that sort of sums up uh, Zeta in this episode perfectly. Uh, lunatic with combat skills. A suicidal Zena. It's a fairly frequent motif in the show, mm -hmm. actually. Well, it's that warrior thing. Right. I felt, of course, that she is manipulating it so Ares will come to her. She never really considered suicide. Yeah, because Zena really pulls some serious strings throughout this whole episode. Zena. This is Kevin as he started to grow his hair out longer and longer, and he didn't cut it for the next two years. Nobody had better facial hair than Kevin Smith. You're my favorite. 
And this, uh, some of the, the speeches coming up in the areas, a lot of what he, he says is very Nietzschean. And I, no. I thought if, if the God of War had a worldview, it, it certainly, uh, he could probably find a lot in also Sprach Zarathustra that, that would appeal to him. For those who just endure life, yeah, it is a very nasty joke. But for those who form it with their will, the joke is on those who get in the way. I remember the first time you said, there's this weird little New Zealand movie called Desperate Remedies, but you should check it out because this guy, Kevin Smith, is really, he's, he's good. Of course, Kevin Smith sold this stuff. My goodness. We had a lot of good actors on Xena that, that really made it a lot of fun to write for them. They're all behind you. You expect me to trust you? I'm crazy. I'm not stupid. If I'm See, in my mind, Xena at this point, even though she's still very much under the, the powers of uh, the Furies and, and is, is dealing with, with her madness, is uh, 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 formulating a very sophisticated plan to reverse the tables on, on, on Ares, even though Ares thinks he's in control. All right, well, see, that was Jazina playing Ares like a fiddle. That was. <laughs> yeah, having said that, I, I'm not, uh, I don't think that she is sure she's not going to kill her mother. Because there's a sort of a justified rage she has towards her mother because of the way her mother has withheld information from her and put her in this situation. Tell me, Mother, when you and Daddy were rolling around like a pair of crazed weasels, was it good? Please, Zena, let's just get this over with. Hmm. I never was interested how I was brought into the world. No, really, no, I'm not interested at all. And yes, it was good. Another point of view or worldview that I was playing with in this episode was Zena's, uh, 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 was sort of a very dark, pessimistic uh, worldview. Is world, you know, it's, which is sort of a, in some schools of Buddhism and, and uh, the German philosopher Schopenhauer looking at that you know, all the basic things that we, we incorporate into our, our, our view of a healthy life as, as just biological rather than, you know, and then her mother and father rather than conceiving her, they're, they're rolling around in lustful uh, uh, sex. You know, so her conception in and of itself is almost an act of, of uh, a bad act. Is there a problem, Zena? What am I doing? In the early drafts of this script, your father. Yeah, Ares was, in fact, her father, right? To be her father. Yeah. And then the studio got very upset. The studio got very upset. The implications of what that meant, mm -hmm. making it Hercules' half-brother. And... and also, wasn't there a sense that it belittled Xena's achievements? For... Her human achievements? Yeah. Did indeed. And it made it kind of incestuous that she was hitting on with her father, and we didn't right. know where we were going to go with that. I mean, I have to say, this is something, you know, you never want to say, but I actually think it was a good note. Absolutely. Um, because really, all the sort of sexual tension between Zena and Ares, I think we just, we never would have been able to do that. Wouldn't have sustained, absolutely. Yeah. You ladies do dress the part, don't you? Did you ever wonder why Daddy used the word jealous when referring to my alleged father? It's an interesting thing. If, if you say that what she's, you know, of course, we never uh, definitively answered in the series. If, in fact, she, she is Ares' child, uh, it, would, it would explain her great fighting ability. On the other hand, it's much cooler, much more interesting. Is she's just a human being who, who through her desire and her training and her uh, will, has has achieved uh, combat skills that can uh, compete with a god. By the way, she knows she's competitive with Ares because she's fought him before. In my view of, of of the series, certainly she was not Ares' child. That's just but. But the audience walks away from this. Do they think Ares is her dad? I think. Well, I don't know. My initial thought was, well, the audience thinks that the producers couldn't make up their mind. <laughs> what do you think? I never um, thought it was entirely clear. We solved the episode problem, but I think we walked away going, huh, right. see, she Phew. is totally mortal. But the... Uh, right, the question is, do you, does the audience believe it? Right. 
and you knew exactly you know one of the things early on when we started Hercules and carried on into Xena was I read a newspaper article and 50% of the kids in America grow up in a house with their stepfather or with a step parent right not their regular parent and I think 20% or 24% um, don't have don't even know or have regular Just contacts single with parent. a single yeah. parent and um, wanted to embrace that feeling of those people wanting to know who both their parents were right um, and play it through both the series mm -hmm. and uh, well, Liz, it was great to do commentary with you. It was excellent doing commentary with you. Well, yes. Here we go. Awesome. The series.